Uh, good morning, everybody. So today's topic is about Dave and Gordon Green's response to where Michael Myers has been since the end of Halloween Kills and what he's been up to over the four-year time jump. David Gordon Green's interview with Total Film was published in an article at GamesRadar.com, and the title of the article is "It's Michael Myers vs. Laurie Strode in These." exclusive Halloween ends images uh, for those of you who are interested and the author of the article is Jordan Farley and as I mentioned it was published on the 12th actually I haven't mentioned that but yes it was published on the 12th so that was yesterday when talking about Michael's whereabouts and what Michael has been up to over the four-year time jump this is what David Gordon Green had to say. We don't really explain that. It's like, I don't want to see where Jaws goes to sleep at night when I'm watching a shark movie. I want to see him when he pops up and he's got an appetite. When reading his response, my initial reaction was face palming and letting out a long therapeutic sigh. The reason that I face palmed and sighed is because the more that David Gordon Green talks about Halloween ends, uh, the less faith I have in the movie and the less excited I get for the movie. Moreover, it takes a lot of nerve for David Gordon Green to come forward and say Michael is not supernatural and then deliver us Halloween kills, you know? Actually, it was the other way around. He delivered us Halloween Kills and then explained Michael is not supernatural. He's just capable of extraordinary things. Right. Okay. I released a video recently listing all of the acts of violence that Michael has endured since the 1978 film. 2018 and Kills happened in one night and Michael survived. Uh, I mean numerous brutal acts of violence against him but never sought medical treatment nope michael just fucking kills karen and he's going to disappear for four years and not get medical treatment because according to david gordon green a man can endure what michael has and not be treated here's how i give my criticism fairly let's start with 2018 where we know that Michael is in a mental hospital for 40 years after the events of the 1978 film. We can imagine what Michael has been up to for 40 years in a mental hospital as a patient. Additionally, Loomis and other characters uh, that were a part of 2018 and Kills have provided context that Michael likes staring out of windows, likes staring at walls, and it keeps to himself and elects not to talk despite having the ability to do so. That context and information keeps things in check and makes it make sense. However, when Michael endures the countless acts of violence against him in 2018 and kills, all in one night I might add, and decides to just disappear for four years, don't you think it might be a little important to show us what he's been up to over those four years or how he fucking survived? The only way I can rationalize Green's decision to not address uh, where Michael has been and what Michael has been up to in this interview is because there's it's probably going to be explained in the film uh, the supposed twist uh, you know as well for such a reason to not explain what Michael's been up to uh, involves Michael probably receiving help or treatment from others you know maybe that's what uh, what the hell is his name Dr. Mathis, maybe that's his role in the movie, and we don't know it yet. 
Jesus Christ. Okay. Or the real twist is Michael is supernatural, like I've been saying all along. So, because David Gordon Green doesn't think it's important or relevant to talk about where Michael has been and what he's been up to for four years, all you're left with is knowing that there's a scene where he grabs Corey. At least I think it's him grabbing Corey. Uh in that first trailer and that's Michael grabbing Corey in a storm sewer just remember that Michael has the best doctors he has world-renowned chefs who serve high-quality rat or dog on a plate uh, he has the best exercising equipment the best walls to stare at 24 7 and he has the best lighting in the storm sewers to get a tan and to Make sure that his vitamin D levels are, you know, perfect. Oh, don't forget, he can take a bath anytime that he likes. <laughs> so, like and subscribe if you're new here. Um, yes, uh, to those of you, to the familiar faces I see in the comments, thank you. Um, maybe you can, maybe you can help, you know, increase my faith in this movie, but good lord every time david gordon green talks about this movie it just seems like it uh i don't know it gives me it, it decreases my faith that this movie will succeed so i don't know i just recommend that he just shuts the fuck up right standing of the movie and just gives us a trailer and says nothing about the movie just let people promote it and try and generate you know some hype for it you know all right like and subscribe if you're new here have a good day